hey guys welcome back to another video welcome to all our new subscribers welcome guys now in today's video we'll be doing curry salmon and coconut milk cream potato and rasta pasta yes guys so without any further ado let's get right into it Right, so here we already cut up our bell peppers, our green and red bell pepper, onion and garlic. Here is our pasta that we'll be using. Alright, so right now we're gonna set on the water to cook our pasta. Okay, so here am I adding just a pinch of salt, but just be mindful when you're adding your salt. Now I'm adding the pasta to the pot. Now we're set on, setting on our pot to cook our potato. Um, so we're going to add some salt as well to the pot. Alright, so the water stopped boiling. So right now we're adding our potatoes to the pot to cook. All right, so now we're gonna go over to our salmon. Now, before we start the salmon, we're actually adding our oil to the pot to get it hot. But before we get into the salmon, Bear in mind, salmon was already been washed with lime, with lime juice. Also, we had seasoned it up with some powder seasoning, some garlic powder, um, all-purpose season, seasoning, and also some cayenne pepper and a touch of black pepper on it. That's it. So at this point, we are waiting on our oil just to hot. All right, so here are here is the salmon in the hands. Mm -hmm, here are they. Of course, we cut up some fine, the fine ones too, or some small ones just to add in the pasta. So here am I adding the salmon to the pot, and of course I scale them. These you have to scale, so I remove the scale off the back. So when you're eating, it could be everything can be eaten all at once. Alright, so yeah, so I'm here frying them now, you know, not gonna let them stay in the pot for too long, just frying them till they're just a little bit cold and brown, and then remove them from the pot. Alright, so see me here now. May I check for make sure it's them brown and so on. We don't want them to dark you know, because they're gonna they're, they're gonna go back and cook again. So we don't want them to stay in the pot for too long because if they do stay too long they're gonna mash up and I don't want that. Alright. So I'm just turning them so the other side can just get some color. Alright, so here am I now checking and removing them one by one from the pot once they are, you know, 
brown to my liking or applique color not really brown but have some color so that's the aim of it so i'm here removing them from the pot all right so we removed them clean the pot again because we wanted it to clean so we can start the other process now we're adding a little bit more oil to the pot not too much just a little bit now i'm gonna add the garlic first for flavor mm -hmm. so i'm adding some garlic so here are the bell peppers and the onion so i'm just letting the garlic cook for a little bit just to get that nice flavor from it so i'm stirring here stirring 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 just waiting for it to be a little bit translucent and then i'm gonna add the other um vegetable okay so it's time to add our onion and our bell peppers and of course i'm gonna stir them not gonna let it cook too much now because the aim of it we want the vegetables so you know we don't want it to be too translucent no just barely cooking. all right so at this point usually i would add some heavy cream but i didn't have any and i decided that i'm going to use what i have so i substitute the heavy cream or some person call it whipped cream we substitute that with coconut milk so we'll be using coconut milk instead all right so because we're doing the pasta this is actually for the pasta so this is the reason why you see the vegetables and the milk so i'm gonna season that with some black pepper and of course i'm gonna go in with some cayenne pepper as well and a bit of all-purpose seasoning Okay, so I'm stirring now just to make sure that everything combined and of course I'm gonna taste just to make sure that everything tastes quite fine and then leave it just to cook down just for a few minutes okay so now we're gonna add some sargenta cheese of course it's already cooked down if you take a look you realize the milk already cooked down so the sargenta cheese is just gonna add a little thickness to it it's still not too water because it's already cooked down enough but i'm just adding cheese to it now just and it's definitely gonna give it a little thickness and of course i'm gonna add some golden seal butter in it we call it cooking butter all right so the pieces of salmon that i have um cut i could do them a little smaller but you know it's still okay so i just add those few pieces that i have and i'm stirring it in that just to get a little flavor from it um in it that, that fish flavor yeah and then i'm gonna add our pasta to that all right so see our pasta here so we're gonna add all of that in the pot 
guys this look good and smell good already you can just smell the aroma in the kitchen trust me all right guys so right here we actually well i actually turned on the flame low low actually gauge it so you know too much of the moisture would not come out of it because from you had the pasta it's gonna automatically absorb the moisture so i didn't want too much to come out here are my stirring just to make sure that everything is properly combined and of course i'm gonna prepare to just to dish it out anyway at this point i don't know what i'm trying to knit up in the pot and i'm gonna actually take it out but <laughs> all right so see me here now we're removing all of that from the pot and we're dishing it out So that's the pasta basically finished now I'm gonna add oh I'm gonna add some black pepper to it and I'm still gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper it's not gonna be too hot because it's just a little bit I'll be adding and of course I'll be adding the green part of the scallion to it it's finely cut so I'm just adding those to it as well right so that's it with the pasta now we're going over to our potatoes now may i check for see if potato cook of course them long cook and ready so i'm gonna strain the water off and now may i add the potato to the bowl mm -hmm. so all I'm, i'll be adding to because seeing that i'll be doing crushed potatoes i'll only be adding some butter to it usually use cooking butter but I decided that I want to have the golden seal instead. So yeah, so I'm crushing. All right, so usually some persons would add milk in theirs. I did not add any milk to mine. I just crush it with the butter and that's it. So that's my cream potato. That's how I prefer it. I don't like too much of the milk milk in it. Yeah. So that's basically it. Now where it's go time to go over to our salmon. Now we're gonna burn the curry. I actually add the curry to the pot before I show you guys the curry and the oil. So I add the, a different set of oil to the pot, put the curry in there, burn it, and now I'm gonna add some coconut milk powder. Coconut milk powder. all right so after adding the coconut milk I'm, I'm actually showing you guys that it was the coconut coconut milk powder i used all right so it's actually a cook up already yeah? so well the aroma is something to talk about all right so may i add um may i add my all-purpose seasoning to it my cayenne pepper of course and my little, a little tip of black pepper to it And of course i'm gonna taste just to make sure that you know it is quite or okay for my liking if it is a little if it's still fresh or it is a little bit fresh to me i might i'm going to add a little more of the all-purpose seasoning i'm not gonna put no other no salt in it whatsoever just the all-purpose seasoning Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so look for my thing up, bubble, bubble, bubble up in other parts. Anyway, guys, so <laughs> right now I'm gonna add the salmon to the pot, and it's not gonna be in there for too long because we don't want it to stay and overcook the salmon because we don't want to keep churning them and they break. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna leave it there just for a few seconds just to put down. guys one thing though me love a curry i'm a love coconut milk mm -hmm. when you can't tell me yes i love it so yeah so this is basically how i do my curry salmon in coconut milk green potato and rasta pasta guys it not only look good but i'm telling you taste delicious trust me it is delicious all right guys so th thank you so so much for watching please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed as yet give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you can also drop a comment until next time bye guys